couldn't get the same base on the on both sides. Okay, remember um, the last problem on that worksheet you were having to do as a group when you got the uh, exponential by itself, it was three to the x is equal to two. Okay, what did we do since we couldn't write two as a base of three? What did we do at that point to solve for x? We plugged it into the calculator, graphed it, and found the intersection. Now, that took some time, right, because we had to figure out the window, and then we had to do the intersection. It took a long time. Well, it turns out we can use our logarithms to allow us to do this. So let's look at number 17 on your worksheets. Let's go ahead and solve it by graphing, though. Okay, let's do it how we've been doing it, and then I want to show you how the logarithms work. <clears throat> So number 17 on your worksheet is four, 4 to the r is equal to 95. So let's put that in as 4 to the x and 95. Okay, here's an example of one where we're going to have to change the window because it's equal to 95. 95 is not within our standard negative 10 to 10 window, so we've got to change it. Uh, now I'm not going to change the x values, but I am going to change my y values. Um, from, let's see here, it's got to equal 95, so I'm going to do 90 to 100. I should give myself a good little viewing window there. And then graph it. There's my part of my exponential function. There's the 95, so then I can find the intersection. And it says that the answer is 3.285. R is equal to 3.285. Now, let's see how we would solve this using logarithms. Okay, yesterday you practiced by writing things in logarithmic form, so we're going to do that. Let's write 4 to the R is equal to 95. Let's write that in logarithmic form. So remember, the base of the exponential is the same as the base of our logarithm, and the other two pieces of the equation just flip-flop places. So now the 95 is over here, and that's equal to r. Well, that's nice because that, that tells me what r is. Um, now, that is the exact answer. That's what we call the exact answer. It, in logarithmic form, is the exact answer. Now, if you want to find out what the value of that is, in your calculator, uh, there is a log button. However, the log button on your calculator does not allow you to change the base. Okay, the, when you press this log, it doesn't have a spot for the base. So what we have to do is we have to type in the log of the, I call it the big number, the 95, and we divide it by the log of the base. Now to me that's easy to remember because the base is a subscript. It quicker. We have negative 9 times 7 to the x plus 1 is equal to negative 49. So a couple of notes before we begin. Number 1, uh, that plus 1 is on the end of this. It's not in the exponent. Number 2, you cannot ever change the base of that exponential. Okay? You cannot multiply negative 9 times 7 because the 7 has the x as an exponent. Um, so you can't combine the two. Okay, so we're going to proceed uh, to solve this like we would any other equation. If we were, if this were just 7x plus 1 is equal to 49, okay, we're going to solve it just like we would that. So we start with adding or subtracting. Okay, so we need to move that plus 1 to the other side first. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So on the left side, all we have left is negative 9 times 7 to the x, Derek's it up, is equal to negative 50. <clears throat> okay, start with that. Then we need to divide by the negative 9 because we're multiplying by negative 9, so we're going to divide both sides by negative 9. Okay, 
uh, a positive div or excuse me a negative divided by a negative results in a positive and I'm going to leave that written as 50 over 9 Okay, I'm not going to round in the middle of this now my exponential is by itself on the left side we have 7 to the X so it's by itself at this point we need to write it in logarithmic form log base 7 of X not of X I'm sorry log base 7 of 50 over 9 I forgot to switch my terms okay the numbers switch places so the 50 over 9 is now on the left side the X is on the right side Okay, the variable is now by itself. So then we're going to type into our calculators the log of 50 over 9 divided by the log of 7. And that is going to give us our approximate answer for x. Log base 7 of 50 over 9 is the exact answer. Okay, that is the exact answer. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, when we type it in, that's an approximate answer because we have to round. Make sure you close your parentheses after the 50 over 9. And that gives us our answer of 0 .8812. And yes, I do want you to go to four numbers after the decimal. Now, you can check this. It's an equation. You can always check your answers to an equation. Go back to the very original and start typing it in. Negative 9 times 7 to the, well, the answer from the previous problem was is x. So you can press second negative, and it'll bring up the a and s that, that uses the previous answer right there, plus 1, and it gives you negative 49. Now, if you type in your rounded answer, it's going to give you something really close to uh, negative 49 but it's not going to give you exactly 40, negative 49. See, it's really close, but it's not exact, okay? But if you use the answer feature there, it will give you exactly negative 49. Okay, so that is our approximate answer. <clears throat> okay, let's look at another one. Let's look at number 46. Number 46 has just about everything that can be done to one of these equations going on it, okay? Uh, we're multiplying the exponential by something. There's more than just x as our exponent. It's r plus 7 is our exponent. And then we've got minus 5 on the end. It's equal to negative 102. So we proceed just like we did with the last problem, okay? You start with adding and subtracting. So... Let's add the 5 to both sides. Bring down the other stuff on the left side. Negative 102 plus 5 would be negative 97. Then we want to divide both sides by negative 2. So we have 124 raised to the r plus 7 is equal to... Um, positive 97 over 2. 97 is not divisible by 2, so we got to leave it like that. Yes, ma'am? Oh, I left off. Thank you. I left off the piece. 12. Um, yep. Thank you. That does change the problem. Okay. It's 12. Not 124. The 4 is in the exponent. Let me fix that. That would give us a significantly different answer. Thank you. Okay. But it doesn't change anything we've done so far. Okay. Um, does not change anything we've done so far. Now, our exponential is by itself on the left side. We cannot do anything to its exponent until it's no longer the exponent. Meaning, we need to go ahead and write this in logarithmic form. The base was 12, so the base of our logarithm is 12. The 97 over 2 moves to the left side, and the 4r plus 7 moves to the right side. Now, at this point, in the previous problems, we've been finished. We've just had to type it into our calculator. But, if you look back, um, when we've gotten to this point, we've had just x on the right side. 
We don't have just x on the right side now. We have 4r plus 7. So we've got to do a little bit more work to get our variable by itself. So the first thing we need to do is we need to move the 7. Now, that 7 does not change anything about our logarithm. Okay, you never change what's inside the logarithm. You're just going to stick this on the end. Okay, and I specifically, I know it looks weird, but I left that gap there for a reason. Okay, the minus 7 is not in the logarithm. You've got to do the logarithm and then subtract 7. And then what's the last thing we've got to do? Divide everything by 4. So, that's the exact answer. Okay, that's the exact answer right there. Um, let's type it into our calculator. So let's make sure that everybody's got that written down. And then I want you to watch when I type this in the calculator because you've got to be careful of some things. Yes, ma'am? The 12 is the base of the logarithm. Okay, so when you're typing this in, Let's evaluate the log first, okay, so that's the log of 97 over 2, close your parentheses, divided by the log of 12, close your parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and press enter, okay, because that's the log part. Then I've got to subtract 7 from it, press enter again, and then finally I'm going to divide by 4. So this is the approximate answer for R. Negative 1.3595 is approximately R. And again, we can check it. Negative 2, bless you, times 10, excuse me, 12. I don't know where 10 came from. 12 raised to the, we got to put it in parentheses because there's more than one term right here. It's 4r plus 7. So 4 times our answer plus 7. Now we close our parentheses because we're done with the exponent, and then there's a minus 5 stuck on the end. And that gives us negative 102. Okay? You can always check your answers to equations. Always, always, always. Okay? So that's it. Okay? That's it. I just want you to practice.